Hola familia! Welcome back to my channel. It is Lily Sabri here. I hope you guys are well. Welcome back to yet another video. I really hope you're enjoying the new weekly planner. Five uploads every single week. A lot of content for you to get stuck into. Before we get going, I know you haven't watched it yet, but if you're feeling generous, please do hit the thumbs up button and also hit subscribe and comment down below if you haven't already. Today, I am going to be discussing with you ladies how to build an hourglass shape. goals. Going through a recent injury and a pretty severe recent injury, I know that for me, I do have an emphasis on an aesthetic goal and I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the journey that I'm going through to achieve that goal and that's why I wanted to share this with you. Recently on Instagram, I put out a sticker, a question sticker to ask you what you want to see more of and I was literally inundated with two things. Number one, how to get a smaller waist. Are there specific exercises that I do to get my waist to a smaller size or if there's specific food that I'm eating? And secondly, it was how to build an hourglass shape. So that's why I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna to put together this quick little video of my top tips to how I have achieved that hourglass frame. Without further ado, let's just do this. When it comes to achieving that hourglass frame, or in fact, making your waist smaller, I just have to put this out there. You cannot anatomically change your bone structure to decrease the size of your waist. This is something that I see on social media a lot where people are promoting waist trainers or how to make your waist smaller. Please guys, if there's one thing you take away from this video, do not invest in a waist trainer. Not only do they not work, they're also damaging. I can't express to you how damaging they can be for your vital organs. Your rib cage is there for a reason. It is to protect your vital organs. So by decreasing the size of your rib cage, all you're doing is putting excess pressure on those organs, which could be very damaging to your body. However, there is a light bulb moment here. There are things that we can do to build that hourglass frame, and it all comes down to this the X frame. You are gonna build the shoulder muscles. You are gonna build the muscles around the hips, which will give you an illusion of a smaller waist. Now, of course, you can do exercises to pull your waist in as such, to tighten your waist. So core exercises, oblique exercises, which I'm gonna show you now. But this is a whole picture, ladies. We need to be working the shoulders and the back. We need to be working the hip muscles, the butt muscles, and the core. So I have decided to show you my nine favorite exercises. These are my go-to exercises to help me achieve that hourglass frame. First up is the dumbbell shoulder press. Now, if you don't have access to dumbbells, you can just grab two bottles of water. With this, we're aiming to keep the core nice and tight, prevent the rib cage from flaring, and we're aiming for three rounds of eight to 10 repetitions. On the fourth round, you do as many as you can until burnout. Next up, we have the dumbbell front raise. Again, you can use anything as a weight for this. Here, we're aiming for a really smooth movement, fast on the way up and super slow and controlled on the way back down. 10 repetitions for four rounds with this one. To make this a little bit harder, you'll notice here I'm not lowering all the way down, so I don't have a period of rest. We're keeping the contraction on. And last up for shoulders is the dumbbell lateral raise. Here we're working in the anatomical plane. So basically a 45 degree angle up to 90 degrees, three rounds of 10 repetitions. Okay, so first up for the glutes, we are doing a lateral lunge with a resistance band. I've also added a weight on here. In terms of reps, we're going for 40 of these, so 20 in each direction, three rounds, and this is to hit the glute need anterior fibers. Next up, static lunge, popping the weight back through the heel, three rounds of 12 reps. Last up for the hips, we have two glute bridge exercises. The first one that's demonstrated here is a glute bridge lower into a resisted abduction, so a push out against the resistive band. After completing 20 of these, you're gonna move on to a single leg hamstring bridge, 10 repetitions before going back again, four rounds total. So our last circuit is core. We are aiming for 20 repetitions of each exercise, three rounds. This here is dead bugs, my favorite. After that, you're gonna move on to scissors, demonstrated here with Teddy beautifully sitting there, keeping that core really nice and tight and breathing control. And the last exercise is for our obliques. It's a side plank hip 
dip into an abdominal crunch. So I really hope that video has helped you on your journey to achieving your aesthetic goals. I know that I need to pump up these shoulders and my hips a little bit more. I've lost a lot of muscle, guys. So follow me along the journey. Five new uploads every single week. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Comment down below all of that jazz. I think I got it all out. I am not going to lie. I've got to rush off to a meeting now. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of puppy love. Please say hi to all of your subscribers. Say hi. This is Teddy. In case you haven't met him already, he's the love of my life. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> he wants to go back to bed. I just woke him up. Confession. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst mum ever. Okay, bye. <laughs>